This is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare running on a 3.7 gigahertz AMD Ryzen 7 2700X <clears throat> with an 8 gig NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 and 16 gigs of RAM. Currently, I do have the settings turned as far up as it would let me go. Um, 1080p resolution, and it's on the high or extra uh, settings on pretty much everything. So, this is a little bit older of a game now, but um, part of the reason I'm messing around with it is because <clears throat> a lot of these older games, we now have the hardware, shall I say, we can all now afford the hardware to run these games at, uh, at quite a bit higher levels than a lot of us could when they were brand new. So I think it's interesting to take a look at some of these games and see how good we can make them look now, um, now that we can t really turn the settings up on them. Um, so let's, uh, oh, forgot, this one kills you really easily. Um, so anyway though, let's, uh, let's get to the game here and see how it runs. Ugh. <sighs> 
Get this door open! Brother, cover me! I'm getting interference from that scrambler up there! That's you, Mitchell! Get a camera on that dish! We'll cover! See if you can get it running. Copy that. T740. Still only a prototype. Can't be that different from a 600. Powering it up. Hands up! Who knows how to drive this thing? Well, Mitchell and I trained up on the 600s. Those thrusters are new. Disengage! We charge and fully on. King King. The signal 23, en route to LZ Black. ETA 10 miles. Request you stop in the LZ with fire. Roger that, Sentinel 23. Bird is in an offset orbit. Standing by. All right, everyone in. All systems check green. So this should give us a pretty good idea of what kind of performance uh, to expect on. Uh, what is this? Um, Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It's been a while. Um, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Definitely still fun. Anyway, uh, this should give everybody a pretty good idea of what to expect. I uh, hope everybody finds this interesting and informative, and thanks for watching the video.